All right, so I have a client who is bringing me, um, he has been bringing me a lot of antique radios from the 30s, late 30s, early 40s era, and I've been restoring them for him, electric, the, elect, the electrical part of it. I'm not a woodworker. He does all the wood stuff. Uh, so I've done a few of them for him already. Uh, some of them I'm restoring back to original. Uh, some of them uh it, the the parts inside or the chassis everything was just so incomplete that he didn't want to put that much money into it so i'm using the shells and making like a bluetooth uh speaker out of them some of them i'm restoring where they actually work as they originally did on the am and then also have bluetooth on them so i'm doing a, i'm doing quite a few things um this one right here was an old farm or barn radio that would operate on on battery DC batteries and um, I'm going to make this into a Bluetooth speaker and it'll have all the lights and I'm gonna put a power supply and everything in it um, and it's gonna be Bluetooth basically is all this thing's gonna be uh, he didn't want to go through the hassle of trying to convert it and uh, everything where it can be used on uh, you know AC and all that so that's what this one's gonna do I'm gonna Bluetooth that one this one I am um, gonna restore to, to operate as it did originally on AM and then um, also put Bluetooth on it it's very nice it's a Zenith I believe it's a model 8s 563 something like that really nice and then this and this one right here is a uh, old record player that just has the amplifier in it doesn't have the so we're gonna be using this probably for parts and we may do some conversion on this um, and then there's also one that I just did for him that he just picked up I'll put a little video in on that a little clip right here I basically did Bluetooth on this it was just a cabinet uh, I did a Bluetooth on it and some LED lights and stuff like that so here's a clip of that and then this right here I know the lights are all in the way this right here is a interesting project that we're working on um, I had this box it's an old um, it's an old medicine cabinet from probably the 30s um, it's all wood it had a glass uh, in here and then it had glass shelves right here but um, my plan was was to uh, turn this into a guitar amplifier, put an amplifier inside here, and have this as the speaker. So a little six or eight inch speaker or something right here. And this was going to be a guitar amp, kind of, you know, pretty neat. But when he saw it, because I showed it to him, I said, oh, you got to see this thing that I... I I've got this box. Uh, I've never really done anything with it. He says, "Oh, I know the ex I know the perfect thing to put in there," and he found this Zenith dial face looking clock on eBay for like twenty something bucks. It's a clock. See, it runs off a battery here, and he says, "I think that if we get one of those clocks that I've seen on eBay, it'll mount perfectly in there," and it did. It perfectly mounted in there. And of course, this is an old Zenith dial face. It's got the um, the magic eye, tuning eye and all that. And it looks like it's actually lit up uh, the way the graphics is on there, but that's just the graphics. So what we plan on doing to this is I'm going to create some speaker, um, a speaker grill on both sides of this. I'm going to mount these little speakers in there like this. And then, what I've been using for Bluetooth 
are these little modules here. They're stereo amplifiers. I think they're like 5 watts or something like that. But they run off of a, 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 a 5 volt power supply. And what I've been doing for that is... So what I've been doing to, to power these uh, little Bluetooth modules, amplifier modules, like I said, I think they're like 5 watts. Uh, I've got these 2 amp 5 volt USB adapters and these plug right into the board here using a micro USB to USB and then uh, I'll either put a standard line cord on here or I'll get a longer um, uh, USB wire and they can just plug this they can just plug this straight into the wall uh so but i have used these to to also um power up uh leds as well so you can get i think this requires like 1.2 amps and so you got another 800 milliamps on this thing you can use for some leds or something like that so in that case i just mount this inside and wire straight to these terminals uh, and put a standard line cord on there um, so and a fuse and whatever but anyway that's what I'm doing I've got um, like I said I've got these projects in the work right now this is going to be a Bluetooth speaker um, and a clock and I've also got the glass shelves that go in here so it can also be used as storage I've got to find out how I can get this little ball um, back out of here where it where it latches onto this into this door right here so this thing closes and kind of stays closed so this is going to be a storage slash bluetooth slash clock and it also looks like a radio so i think it's going to be excellent I, I i really i really like that and then like i said i'm converting this to bluetooth it's got a speaker in there uh, i don't think that's a field coil speaker that's a yeah, that's a standard uh, permanent magnet speaker. It's got the output transformer right here. I won't need that. I'm basically going to gut everything out of here that I can use. Probably the tuning gain, the IF transformers, the tubes, maybe the sockets. They're probably there's probably not much underneath uh, the chassis that's that's valuable or I could use. Um, and then mount the Bluetooth uh, board on here power supply cord and then it just tie right to that speaker and that'll be a bluetooth speaker so i think it looks really cool he's what he's doing is he's, he's i think he's got like nine grandkids nine or ten grandkids and he's getting little radios like this and the one i showed you in that clip and a few others that i've done for him and he's he's refinishing them and he's going to make He's going to give one to each of his grandkids. And for this one right here, he says he's going to keep this one for himself. So he wants it up and running. This one is really cool. It's got one of those uh, magnet wave um, antennas. You can see down there, You, it, it's on a little uh, spinner thing that can spin around. And you can just spin it around to get the best reception. Um, so it's got this great big ginormous... Uh, 10 or 12 inch speaker I think it's a 10 inch speaker but uh yeah we're gonna get this thing going and uh, I'll have a video on that I'll have a video on what becomes of this uh, when I'm done with it and then uh, maybe a video on that one that was this one's gonna be kind of too easy I may give a demonstration of how the Bluetooth sounds in it and a little short clip but um more radios coming in. He's going to be bringing me a few more. So uh, more to follow on that. And uh, thanks for watching. Alright, so I decided to put this in this video since I didn't get the last one up uh, before I got this one finished. So what I've done with this, this was an old shaven cabinet or medicine cabinet or whatever you want to call it. Um, I took out the glass. Uh, I was going to use this for, I was going to make a guitar amplifier out of it. Put a speaker right here. Uh, but the client that I'm uh, 
restoring these radios for, when he saw this box, I showed it to him. He said, I got something perfect for that. And he went on eBay and he bought this clock. It's a Zenith, looks like a dial face for an old Zenith radio. And uh, it's really a clock. You can see the second hand moving there. And anyway, uh, what we did with this thing, what I did with it, he put the clock in and then I wired up a Bluetooth amplifier, stereo amplifier in here with a power supply. It takes a five volt power supply at two amps. So basically, uh, as long as you get a two amp capable phone charger, uh, that's what it uses, mini USB to USB. Uh, I ran a line cord out, two speakers, and because uh, most of the radios that I put Bluetooth on, I wire this power supply up to the actual power switch of the radio. I didn't have a way of doing that on this one, uh, so I didn't want to put like a knob or anything in here. So what I did is I wired one of these lamp cords into the circuit where you can turn it off and on. And so I'll show you how it works. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, it's powered up and it's actually synced on. Let's play some music through it. All right, I got some royalty free music going on here. We'll close it up. You can listen to it. It gets really bassy when you close it up. Uh, I'm not a woodworker, so I'm going to preface this. Uh, what I did is I just put some little grills here. Uh, he can do with this what he wants. I think he may actually cut out a hole right here for the speakers. But all I did was put some grooves and two holes. But uh, I left it where he can cut out a circle right here if he wants to. He can fix this, but he's the woodworker of the... Of the uh, situation here but uh, you can see when I open it up the treble really comes back but it is stereo so yeah that's that's this one complete uh, he's gonna have to Remount this clock because he's got it in there kind of crooked, I think. But uh, he can he can twist that and remount it in there. I'll let him do that. But this thing's going to be a clock. I'm going to put the glass shelves back in here that originally came in it, and then it'll be a Bluetooth speaker storage, and uh, and then a clock. Pretty neat, huh? All right, on to the next one.